Hi, hi. Tuesday morning, we were on the breakfast show. That's what we've completely missed. Okay, are we filming? Can you see me? I don't know why I'm going with my hands here. Woo! Bloody good looking unit though, I must say. I definitely don't want to do that part. That's the part that gets quite dirty. And what is, is this okay? Camera guy? Camera guy, is this okay? Edit that out. I'm Dan, this is Kiwi Skips on this Trash Talk episode 45. You may remember me from such shows as The Breakfast on TVNZ on Tuesday morning. That's right, I got interviewed on TV, live television. That was a buzz. You'll see clips of it in this video. Also, we ran into an issue with a crane truck. You're gonna have to watch this video to see if I can sort it out. It's a triangle of doom. I've just got off the phone and I have been invited on The Breakfast Show to do an interview on Tuesday morning at 7.30. But by the time you've seen this, that would have been Tuesday morning just been. So that is exciting. And the reason they've asked me on for an interview is because of the Zero Beautiful Business Fund. We won that, we won the 20K last year and it's running again. And that was to build our sorting facility right here behind me. It doesn't look like a lot has happened, but I can assure you a lot has been happening behind the scenes. We've been getting our architectural plans, consent, and geotesting all sorted. And all these things have costed a lot of money. In the grand scheme of things, 20K was just a drop in the ocean, and we probably need to still continue to raise approximately about 1.5 million to get this project to a level that we can operate. Hopefully, we can find other avenues to raise some capital to go towards that. How good is it that I'm gonna be able to tell that story on The Breakfast TV Show? This year sees the return of Zero's Beautiful Business Fund, a global initiative launched last year to champion small business. The fund awards 750,000 dollars globally with four winners collecting twenty thousand dollars each in new zealand to tell us more i'm joined by zero country manager bridget snelling and one of last year's uh, beautiful business fund winners dan butterfield from kiwi skips a uh, welcome to you both dan over to you yeah 100 percent. so we won the zero beautiful business fund for the innovating for environmental sustainability and we've used that money to help really get our sorting facility off the ground going further. So what we do is we pick up a lot of construction waste. So mm. that's where we really want to separate and sort and recycle as much that waste. So we've used the $20,000 to get our, start our actual building, our process, our sorting facility. So it's a recycling facility built from recycled plants from a whole heap of different industries. So we've got all that together. We've used that money to get um, architectural designs, geotesting, and start building our conveyor system. How did I look on TV? And that's why we're doing this. We're trying to build a recycling facility to recycle all of Southland's building and construction waste. It makes up a huge portion of what goes to our landfills every year, and we want to change that. And we are driven to make that happen. All right, now we're going to go out and check out the hydrovac, and then we're going to go do a crane job. The last container job you've seen me doing is when we went to Mauraki. I'm not actually quite on the tool today, I'm just helping the boys out. We've got Grant and Brad on the case. Here you go, mate. Last time we were here at this site, we were standing right here behind this screen. Now we're on the other side of the fence, and we're not doing hook truck work in here, we're doing hydro excavation work. So they're cleaning out all the drains after the demolition's done, doing the responsible thing, making sure this site is the cleanest it possibly can. We're gonna address the elephant in the room, or should I say the pyramid that's not in the room, right? The Imbicargle pyramid is completely gone. And I just, it blows my mind. I've talked about it before, but I just... We've got six sumps on this site we need to suck out. So the cool thing about this truck is that it's really quick and easy to set up and break down to move around. Hydro excavation is the future of digging. What a hydro excavator does is excavates the ground, digs trenches, holes, exposes underground pipes, cables, without damaging them. But what it also does is what we're doing over here. It sucks out sumps and drains. What we've got here is just sludge and just road muck, which has been washed into the drain. And if we don't keep on top of it and suck it out, this area could flood if we experience heavy rain. So we go around all these drains. There's six on this site and we suck them out and then, um, yeah, they're good to go, so we don't have to worry about any flooding. Hey, we might as well talk about this. Hydrovax and hook trucks, my two favorite style of trucks at the moment. This hook truck is identical to the Kiwi Skips hook truck. 
they were actually built side by side at Winter Engineering in Christchurch at the exact same time. So when I was getting photo updates of my hook truck, that one there was also in the background. How good does that look? It is so satisfying clearing out a drain completely. Ready to go and if we get heavy rain, we know this drain can handle it. Well these guys don't need us to hang around watching them work, we may as well carry on in the crane truck to go do a container job for another client. Let's go. Here we are, we're here to pick up the container to deliver it to a customer. We've found it, we've identified it's the right one by the number. We're going to load her up and then we'll get her on the way. So while I unfold this, you just watch. Bro, there's a forklift. Better yet, I don't even have to crane it. Just in time. We'll just load it on with the forklift. Here we are, we don't have to use the crane after all, they're going to load it on with the forklift, which will save us about three minutes because that's how long it takes to load it on with the crane. The guy looks like he's done it before. All right, how we secure this on is we've got twist locks. So I'll go around. And it's as simple as this. Get close up in there. And we'll get the other three. There's four in total. That's it. That's not going anywhere. Check it out. That is another way we can transport our containers. Hey, should Kiwi Skips get a rail siding coming into the yard? No. It's just being silly. Let's carry on. Here we are, we've arrived at the client's house and we're gonna unpack and then I'll crane Oh, not sure. Then I'll crane it into position. They've already set up for us with some macrocarpa slabs, so we're gonna put it on these beams. And yeah. It'll sit here. I think it's pretty safe to assume the doors will be facing out this way, so I'll spin it around as I crane it off. These are the magic devices we use. These hook into the container. Now you always got to make sure they hook in that way and hold tight so they don't come out. What a trick for young players. They put them in this way because it seems like the obvious choice, but as soon as you lift, they just come out. So we've got to make sure, because there is a left and a right, we use that one. And also, you can see out there, we're just making sure that we don't cross the chains over. So we're going to do this lift, we want it to be as safe as possible, we don't want to drop the container or damage anything, or damage any of our equipment. going to do, the client wanted me to butt it up with the edge of these. So I feel like we want that sort of there, but they haven't got this completely straight. I might just ease it down. Ease it down, ease her down. Alright. Oops. What's happening? This is not good at all. This means bad. It's a triangle. It's, it's a triangle of doom. Well, that was the triangle of doom, but we got the container down safely. The triangle of doom comes up to basically tell us we're overextended, so we rejigged it and got the container down exactly where the customer wanted it. That's all for Trash Talk episode 45, we'll see you next week.